Hey guys, so working on the engine that's going to be going in the 95. Um, I would like to do start driving the truck again, so I figured now that it basically, I'll do a video talking about the insurance thing, but it's basically kind of figured out anyways. Um, I'm going to start working on this engine. Now, originally I was thinking about pulling the engine apart and re-ringing it and marrying it and stuff, but we're going to see what it looks like. If the cylinders look okay, there's nothing funky in there, uh, just to do with time side of things. I'm not going to tear it apart because if I do that, it's going to add at least another week to putting that truck, you know, getting the truck back on the road again. And I already have to do a bunch of stuff. I'm going to already have to put an exhaust in it. Um, so I'll have an exhaust install video for you guys. I got to put an exhaust in it. We're changing the turbocharger. Um, we're doing, I'm pulling the head off to O-ring it and put valve springs in it. And we're going to put, actually, you know what? I'm going to leave these injectors in it um, to start with because I want to take these, I want to run it with these injectors to start with, and then we're going to use this as a platform to kind of build upon, but I am going to put a turbo on it um, because it's so easy to do, and then I don't have to change the exhaust and all that stuff. So I'm going to start ripping this apart tonight here. I'm going to spend maybe 45 minutes to an hour uh, tearing stuff apart. I don't think I'll get the head off in that short a period of time unless, you know, the stars align, but we shall see. All right. Um, I'm going to go after it here and uh, we'll catch you guys, I guess, at closer to the end here of the video. We used some WD-40. Used this stuff for rust release and penetrant. It's supposed to be with blue torch technology. I don't know. It seems to work. But this engine has been sitting around for a while, so I'm going to give a bunch of this stuff a soak because I don't want to Okay, let's get this thing ripped down. I don't know. I don't know how many. Let me know in the comments how many of you guys have done this process. Um, I'm probably going to talk through some of this, so I don't know how long the video is going to be. Um, but I just figured you guys seem to like it when I do longer videos and talk about stuff, or some of you do. I shouldn't say all of you, um, but some of you guys do. So I do that on this one. And maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do a, you know, uh, doing an O-ring five minutes versus, you know, the six or seven hours it's going to take. That's doing all the machine work and all that stuff too. Just throwing all the stuff. I got a, a, a wheelie tote thing here. I'm going to throw all the bits and pieces and parts other than the bolts all I'm going to throw in there because then I don't have to go searching for everything. 10, 15. I think I have most of the stuff I need in the pocket to do this. Now this is granted much easier not in the truck. So, you know, take that as a Take it as a grain of salt how I'm doing it. <coughs> a lot of this stuff, for the most part, unless you're in the belt, in the rust belt, this stuff comes apart relatively easy. So, like I said, it shouldn't take that long. But that being said, I probably just jinxed myself since I said that. Actually, that bolt. 
bolt in there. So um, I'm going to um, pull the manifold bolts out. I've had them soaking for, I don't know, however long it took me to take that stuff off and I didn't realize the camera wasn't going. Anyways, um, we are going to pull the manifold off, get the turbo out of the way, uh, pull the lines off. The injectors, um, I'm probably gonna pull the bolt, the nuts out because I'm running out of time for tonight. It's, uh, time is it right now? Seven o'clock PM. So I'm uh, running out of time. I'd like to go home sooner than later. But I would like to get this thing ripped down to the point where basically tomorrow I can lift the head off, get it in the washer, we can change the valve springs, um, surface O-ring the head, and then put it back on again. Hopefully, depending on what I got on tomorrow, um, do that tomorrow. So let's get after it here. Um, I gotta go grab ratchet. All right, so let's see how many of these we're gonna break off. Let's we'll see how good that, that WD-40 penetrant tray is because lots of these usually break off. Just loosen them all. Um, Canada, uh, Ontario, Canada. So it's a little crustier than they're usually here. So use a dead blow. I'm not using a dead blow, but use a dead blow. You just tap the lines down. I would recommend you use a dead blow. Say it one more time. Is If I screw up a line, I have half a dozen sets hanging on the wall. It's not the end of the world. But if you break one and you don't have a spare one, that also is a problem. Or can be a problem, anyways. Not necessarily a problem, but it can be a problem. Also, if you guys, being that we're doing the long course, I'm trying not to not talk for at least most of the time. If you guys, uh, I would really like to get the channel to grow a little more. Um, obviously everybody, anybody that has a YouTube channel wants to, um, but you know, I, I would really like to get to the point um, where I can really start actually doing some stuff um, for other people. So the value side of things, um, do some, uh, some giveaways and all that type of stuff. But we're just not to the point we're, at, we're not big enough to be able to do that yet. So I would love to, it's just that, you know, I can't really give anything away because, you know, it's one of those things, you know, like I come to work to make money just like everybody else. So it's, uh, if we could get the channel to the point where, you know, it's, it's making some, you know, Decent revenue per se, whether it be off the website or off of the, um, yeah, yeah, and I know the website's not live yet, so how can we buy stuff? It will be very, very, very shortly. Um, and it'll have merchandise on there, some parts. The parts are gonna be kind of limited to start with because I'm working on uh, setting it up differently for the, the search part of it because the search sucks right now. Um, you know, like basically as it sits right now, as far as I'm concerned, you have to put the part number of what you want in there. Um, otherwise, I, I don't honestly don't know if you'd be able to find it or not. So working on fixing that because that's not how I would like it. I want it, uh, I want it user friendly. So basically would want it you, I want basically want it so that I would use it, if that makes sense. So, um, and it is not even remotely like that. So, we, I'm working on that, but it will be up very shortly. And we'll probably, I'm probably gonna do 
um, some jet tags or keychains, maybe stickers for a giveaway to start with. And we'll do, I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll give one, maybe I'll give one of these Milwaukee um, tools away. I'll buy a brand new one and we'll give that away. Um, maybe we'll try that to start with and see how that goes. Um, you know, if that works out, then we'll maybe do a bigger one or just do another one like that. Let me know what you guys think. If you would rather parts or tools or, um, you know, anything like that, right? I just, I, I'd like to give back to you guys. Um, because that, you know, that's part of the reason that I did the channel. You know, I like, I like doing this stuff. Um, and I, you know, I don't mind filming and all that stuff. It's just that, you know, it's kind of the amount of time that I put into it kind of feels like there's no benefit for anyone. And I would like it to benefit. I'd like it to benefit everybody. You know, you guys that are watching, myself as well, you know, I just, I would like it to, I'd like it to, I would like it to benefit everybody, not just me or just not people I know. I would like it to benefit everybody. So, you know, and I think that's kind of personally, personally, uh, what's kind of lacking with some channels per se is that there's no, I can't say that some channels anyway, you know, I would rather, I would rather help you guys than, you know, not help you because I don't know. I enjoy helping. I do enjoy helping people. Well, that's 13. So I would like to help you guys, um, but obviously I need your help to help you. So, you know, subscribing makes a big difference. So if you're watching the videos and not subscribed, um, you know, please, please do that. Please do that because that does help. It helps with the algorithm. Um, it helps with it helps me myself because then it feels like more people are watching because it's only like the people that are watching, there's only 22% of people that watch that are subscribed. So, you know, if you're not subscribed, I would have muchly appreciate it if you would subscribe. Um, you know, it doesn't cost anything or any of that jazz. So it's just, you know, a button click basically. And don't get me wrong. I have channels that I've watched that I'm not subscribed to, but I, I do, ouch, I do usually subscribe to the channels that I watch. I don't really want to cut that line because those lines are hard to get. Oh, there we go. They're not the lines any good or not. Those lines are hard to get sometimes. For some reason. All right. So the reason I wanted that off so we can take the thermostat housing off. All right, take this, banjo bolts on it. Actually, you know what? I was gonna reuse these and not do anything to them, but I'm kind of thinking about it here. I really should at least take them apart and clean them because the line's got a bunch of junk in them. So watch for the video. Um, I'll do a video of taking them apart and cleaning them um, and checking them out, which will also double good as a video for you guys that, um, you know, just want to take them apart and clean them for one, but uh, for guys that want to run um, alternative fuels, because I do recommend if you're running alternative fuels that you are going to need to, you are going to need to pull the injectors out reasonably often and take them apart and clean them so we will these ones won't be near as dirty as what those ones would be but we will 
I will do a video on that as well because we're here and there's crap in them. So we might as well clean them up. And I, like I said, I will, sh I'm going to show doing the whole shoot and match of, of doing the black diesel or I shouldn't say black diesel, um, fuel conversion. So that truck has a fast unit on it. I'm going to pull the fast unit off. We're going to run a mechanical pump, um, at least to start with anyway. So I think likely what I'll end up doing is I'll actually take that fast unit off and I'm going to put it on the shorty, um, because the pump that's on the shorty is not a new pump. It was one that I had. Um, and that one's basically brand new. It's got not very many kilometers on it. I have the other one that I've, I sent back to fast um, that's getting fixed. Getting fixed. So we'll have that one as well. So we'll have a couple fast units around. I'll be looking for that bowl later. Don't worry, it's over there. <laughs> oh, it's right there. So something I am going to do to this thing too, that I realize most of you guys aren't going to have, is I'm going to put a, um, I'm going to put a adjustable timing gear on it and cover to go with it. And the reason for that, ouch. Oh, that's 13 this way. No matter how hard you try, a 10 won't fit on a 13. Um, the reason for that is so that we can do timing changes. So I can show you guys. Um, so I can show you guys what the timing change does when you're driving around. I really wish I had a dyno, but obviously that's not in the works at the moment. Well, I shouldn't say it's not in the works. It's just not in the, the game plan for just right yet. It's in my plan. It's just not at the top of the list yet. Because I do want a dyno. And the reason for a dyno is, well, I want dynos are cool. But I would really like to have a dyno so that I can, um, so we can do testing on stuff. Because I get people that ask all the time, um, you know, what's this do? What's that do? What happens if I do this? What happens if I do that? And without me, how do I say that? I know what that I know what it does, but I can't tell you. Well, I can tell you, but most people aren't going to listen. But if you have a dyno, I can physically say, okay, here we are. Here we do this. This we do this to this truck. This is what happens. We do this. We do this. We do this. That's the reason I want a dyno, um, and that is because they're cool. But. Um, it's just not in the game, in the, in the cards just right at the moment. One, I don't have the space and two, I don't really want to buy a dial for it to sit here and not really get used. So, um, that is something. So let me know in the comments if you guys, if you guys would like a dial for yourself or would like to go to the dial so. Okay. <clears throat> Cause 
because that's something that I, I will I will probably do, but as it, realistically, as it, where we are right now, um, I don't think it makes sense for me to spend the money on it until we get more subscribers to be able to um, justify doing it. So. But it is something that I would like. Because I know that I've dynoed a bunch of stuff over the years. But I don't have any of the dyno sheets anymore. And some of them were, I was just, I was helping a buddy out and we were dynoing stuff. So it kind of... I know it gets lost in translation, I guess you would say. And a lot of this stuff now, guys haven't been doing with 12 valves. And I'm gonna do some common rail stuff because I realize that a lot of guys like common rail stuff and that's maybe part of my channel that hasn't grown yet because I don't do common rail stuff. I just like 12 valves. So I will do some common rail stuff, but it's just that I got a lot of stuff to show you guys yet 12 valve related. So I don't see the point in switching around back and forth. And I have to go buy a common rail. So that's why I was thinking about maybe building, um, you know, one of my trucks with a common rail so we can play common rail, was what I was thinking. So for you guys that are wondering, these bolts are reusable as long as they're not stretched. If you buy a uh, Mall or Victor Rhines, I think even the Felpro kit, not that I'm a huge fan of Felpro head gaskets, um, I think they come with one too as well. Um, it's a stretch gauge for checking to see if they're stretched or not. As long as you're checking they're stretched and they're not like really rusty or something, you can reuse them because they're torqued to angle, not torqued to yield. So that is the difference there. So. We are, I don't know how long we're into this. We're probably 45 minutes to an hour in, because I don't know exactly what time I started because the GoPro wasn't working to start with. Yeah, anyways. So I'm gonna pull this off and I'm gonna set it on the back of this cart because I don't want to set it flat on anything because the injectors are still in it. Here we are. Oh, probably could have left it. Head gasket actually looks like it is in, well. Oh no, she's in rough shape. We probably would have lost a head gasket. I'm gonna say, let's see what the old cylinders look like. Yeah, those cylinders look okay. No chunks missing. She looks all right, guys. So that's good. A little tiny bit of a mark on that one. Nothing too serious. Right on. So basically what we're gonna do now, let me get my hands wiped off a little here before I grab the camera. So basically what we're gonna do here is, I think is I don't even really want to take the P-pump off if I don't have to. But I can't remember. I don't can't remember ever doing it. I probably have and I just don't remember. I gotta put a tappet cover gasket on it because this one I know is like you can see the crack in it. I don't know if you you can see the cracks in it. 
So I'm gonna put a tap cover in it. Um, I don't know if we can do it. Like, it's not that hard to get the pump off because we're putting a gear and everything on it, but I don't know, we'll see. I might take the pump off, um, but here nor there. We are going to, I'm gonna clean this surface up um, just with my sanding block. Like, well, yeah, you know what? I'll pull the pump off, get it out of our way. For the little bit of time it's gonna to take to do that. And then I can actually get in behind and and put some sealer around the backside if we're not taking the front case off. Cause I really don't wanna get into this. this. I don't plan on leaving this engine in there forever. So, um, you know, it doesn't make sense to spend, you know, if I'm gonna get that far into it where I'm taking the case off and I'm pulling the camshaft out and I'm doing this, doing that, doing this, doing that, I might as well just tear the whole engine apart. I just, I don't wanna spend the time doing that. So we are going to uh, reseal the side, the side cover, um, put the timing or the adjustable timing gear and front cover on it. Obviously it'll get a new water pump. We're gonna get the surface cleaned up, the head O-ringed, uh, serviced and O-ringed and uh, 60 pound valve springs. Then, because we are gonna wing this thing 4,000 RPM, I'm gonna put a set of govern springs in it because it's so easy to do it right now. Um, hence doing the um, RPM springs. And likely this thing will get an exhaust break if it stays around long enough. Anyways, um, I'm gonna cut this video off here for now because um, it's probably getting relatively long and I don't wanna get it too long. So um, watch for a video on this. So this will be in my 95 truck. Uh, playlist. Um, I'm going to pull the studs out, the studs out, the injectors out. Well, the injectors, you guys probably know how to do that, but uh, to get these studs out, and then if I break one off, then I'll drill and tap it and Healy coil it. I'll show that in one video. Um, and then we're going to surface O ring that, which I've already showed, so it'll just be a time lapse. Um, and then, uh, or I might not even show it at all because I have showed that before. I'll just put a video in. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for this one. Um, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments and uh, let me know what you think of this style of video. If you like it this way or if you'd prefer time lapse, let me know what you guys want because I'm doing this for you guys. Um, so I want to do what you guys want me to do. All right, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments, which I think I already said. And remember, it's not rocket science.